Hi, this is Aditya Narayan, author and co-admin of Geek With Me. I am here to present you a tutorial on the latest plugin which we have developed known as the Parse URL. The template of this Parse URL goes like this. URL underscore Parse URL equal to image equal to. The basic reason why we have developed this plugin is whenever you are reading any article on a web page and if you like it you tend to share it share it on social networking sites such as Facebook etc so we thought of developing the same functionality on geek with me or WordPress so what you need to do is copy this URL go here URL equal to paste this sorry paste this URL now this image um, whenever you are writing any post there is one image which you should always set that is the featured image and if you are showing any gallery you need to what a, a user or any author tends to do is download more images and rename it and upload it I have done the same over here I'll just reconnect. Yeah. Bear with me, my internet connection is a bit slow over here. Yeah, so I have uploaded few images. <coughs> and I have renamed each and every image. I would like to show this particular image. I take the name, copy it. say image equal to and I've given some explicit data of my own and given it in a different color so that we are able to distinguish between the fetched data and the image which we have provided I'll say preview See, this is the image, this is the title, some meta description, and a couple of paragraphs. So, this eases your job while writing a post. You simply give the short code, supply the URL and the image, you get all of this. This is the data which I had written in a different color. So, only this much I have written, else I have pasted it. If you click on this particular link, you will be redirected to the same web page from where you are fetching the data. Anyway, it's a bit slow. It's the same thing, right? Just reconnect. So, if the user is interested, he can go and read the entire article over here. in case you don't supply this particular image it's optional so what it will do is it will fetch this particular image which you have set make sure you have set the featured image you say preview I 
and the featured image comes over here. That's it for this tutorial. Make sure you are supplying the URL irrespective of whether you are supplying the image or not. That's it for this 